So before we get this video started, I just want to get this out of the way. This is a very early hack for the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. This video is for demonstration purposes only. Do this at your own risk, but if it was up to me, I would definitely wait for some updates to come out. As of making this video, the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro hasn't even been released in the US yet, but I still wanted to get this video out of the way because I did flash this firmware to my Neo Geo Arcade Stick and it's working. But keep in mind, whenever you're doing any kind of modification to software, there's always a chance of bricking it. I would personally wait a little while until this hack is updated, but I still wanted to give you an early look at it. Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. A few days ago I posted a video about the new Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro, and it has been hacked. It actually releases in the States on November 22nd, but it's already been hacked. Not to just run extra Neo Geo games, but to run a plethora of different arcade games and consoles. Okay, so this video is going to be a little weird because as I was recording this video, I wasn't sure if this hack even worked or not. It was something I found over on Reddit, and while I can't link directly to it, I will link you to the Reddit post. So basically, I just stumbled across this hack today on Reddit, and I was willing to go ahead and give it a try. It was either going to brick my Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro, or it was going to work. And the video probably wouldn't go up if it didn't work, but everything went off without a hitch. This is actually really awesome. But like with all hacks, there's always a risk of bricking your unit, so use this at your own risk. And keep in mind, this is still really early here, and it might improve over time. So there's a link here in the Reddit post. I just went ahead and downloaded all three files. I placed them on a USB stick that was formatted FAT32. And by the way, all credit goes to Chris Stapleton for posting this over on Reddit. The three files here are Part 1, Part 2, and Update. And like I said, this is formatted FAT32. I just followed the instructions from the Reddit post. I took the USB stick plugged it into the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. And from here, I just went into the settings menu, system, update. It searched for the update and found it. I was very hesitant to hit the update button because I wasn't sure if I was going to brick this thing or not, but I went ahead and did it and I crossed my fingers. Now this did take about 15 minutes to finish up. I'm using a USB 3.0 drive. I'm not sure if that's gonna help or not with the speed, but he does mention that it'll take around 30 minutes to finish. And to my surprise, after about 15 minutes, the unit rebooted and I was presented with a screen that looks like this. Neo Geo ASP or Neo Geo Hack. So I went to the Neo Geo Hack section, Arcade, Family Computer, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Mega Drive, Super Famicom. I was really interested in the arcade, so I just went over here and noticed that everything's listed by publisher of the game. By the way, you can also run games from a USB drive. So I just went to see if any of these really work. I found The Simpsons. It's the first game I tested. I know this isn't a Neo Geo game, but it does work on the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. So obviously I was pretty stoked about this, I just wanted to see how the game performed. Now I did run into some CPS3 games that didn't perform well, but like I said, this is early and this will improve over time. The stick doesn't even release in the United States until November 22nd. And by the way, the built-in scaling options on the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro do work with these games. Just test out a couple more here. I went to the Neo Geo section and ran one of my favorite Neo Geo games, Blazing Star. And overall, the Neo Geo game should work fairly well here. And this is the AES version because we have the options when we start the game to change the difficulty. So I will be doing another video on this hack and I'll be testing out some games from USB, but I just wanted to test a few here because I thought this was really awesome. Like this thing's not even out worldwide and there's already a decent hack out. So one thing I have noticed is slow emulation with CPS3 games. This is Red Earth and I just wanted to give you a look. But I have tested out some CPS1 and 2 and they seem to run at full speed. Unfortunately there's no way to display the FPS but I know that CPS3 is definitely running slow.
This hack does install some games to the internal eMMC, so it works without the USB, but you can install games to the USB and play them from there. And if you ever want to get back to the stock system, when you boot it up, all you need to choose is Neo Geo ASP. You have the 20 games here and it functions just like it did right out of the box. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. When I initially found this hack, I thought it would install them to the main system here. I'm kind of glad that we have a separate section and it's listed out pretty nicely, but I'm sure in the future, somebody will find a way to add them to the main system menu. Either way, it's still nice to see a modification like this for the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro, and this is really early, so it's only gonna get better over time. I definitely want to do more testing with this, and I will have another video coming up shortly. I'll test out some more arcade platforms and consoles. So if there's anything specific you want to see running on the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro, just let me know in the comments below. But that's it for this one. I really appreciate you watching. These are available on Amazon for pre-order, but keep in mind they're around $129.99. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more systems running on the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. But like always, thanks for watching.